What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Plays. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the Bengals versus Vikings game where Jake Browning went off and was the third quarterback in Week 15 in the NFL. He went 29 of 42 for 324 yards, two touchdowns, one pick, a quarterback rating of 97.7. Let's go ahead and dive into exactly how he had so much success. In this play, they're motioning Jamar Chase from left to right into the slot. And what you're going to see here is, and it's on multiple takes, like Jake Browning is going to stand in there and he is going to get demolished. But he stands in there and just throws an incredible ball. Like right here, there's n really no reason why he probably should have thrown this ball. It is covered, but he puts it exactly where it has to be. He is going to be hit. You get an X stunt from both the inside backers and it frees up the mic and he's got this guy it's breathing down his neck. He could have folded, just took, went down or kind of just checked it down, throw it at someone's leg. He stands in there tall, puts this one out there. I mean, look at this picture right here. Two defenders right there. Jamar Chase just over top. He places this ball right in the spot and it is a massive gain. He took a shot to the chin, but it paid off. So a couple big key takeaways I got from watching this game. You know, Cincinnati Bengals are doing a lot of extra stuff to help protect Jake. They're adding in some tight ends. They're adding in some backs into protection and trying to help just give him as much time as he can. Also, the Vikings really attack them with a lot of zone. I mean, just look at this defensive front right here. They are showing an eight-man blitz, but they're going to back out into a zone, try to confuse Jake. But what he has done well is just get the ball out quick. He's he's able to recognize a soft spot into the zone. He doesn't wait. He go and he goes ahead and takes his profit. Tight end releases out. He knows the linebacker is not able to get there. But if he's any split second late, he's beat. So here's an example of this coaching staff trying to help out maximize the time for Jake Browning. They just motioned that tight end in, so now you're going to get a six-man protection. And he's going to be working the left side of the field here. You're really going to get a high-low read between just a flat route, intermediate, and then that slot's going to kind of work like a little inside dig. The patience by Browning, able to just stay patient, recognize that they're falling on the flat, Put it into the second intermediate hole. Also, they do a really good job. You're going to see them slide this protection. Look at him move the pocket. Jake moves with it, allows him to get a little bit extra time, just drops it right in there for a nice big gain. So now, guys, if you would, do me a favor. If you are liking this video, just please hit that thumbs up. It's free, and it helps out the video a lot. And also, if you like it, subscribe, join the team, join this community, and let us uh, continue to grow this thing. So right here, nice, easy, simple, get ahead of the sticks type of play. It's early in the downs, and they're just going to go basically all hitches across the board. What Jake Browning is going to do a really good job is here, try to influence this Mike linebacker, try to get his eyes to the left. If he doesn't, then he knows where he needs to go with the ball. Influences this backer. He knows he's got that nice little middle sit-down hitch route by his tight end and just takes what the defense gives you. He's able to recognize that he's got a, a threat like a Jamar Chase. If this backer doesn't bump out, now he's got numbers to there. But as soon as he does, he's, he's hey, let's move on to the next read and get it out of the hands quick. All right, so this next one, once again, another good example of Jake Browning being able to stay patient. He gets time in the pocket, and he's able to read, uh, once again, a zone coverage here. They get a nice little pigtail route on the bottom, attacking the flats with a nice dig over top. He's pinpointing right now this overhanging backer and trying to read what he does. He gets forced in on the pigtail, try to bite on it. He replaces that with a nice ball to Jamar Chase. Jake Browning did a very good job all game long just being able to stay patient, identify that it's zone coverage. Got to give huge props to the Cincinnati Bengals offensive line. They allowed him to have just enough time to be able to utilize and uh, distribute the ball. All right, so now on this one, I mean, this is going to be a very good throw by Jake Browning. They motion into a trips bunch, and they're going to run a spacing concept. They're going to attack the intermediate middle of the field uh, on that left side of the hash. You're going to get a flat, and then you're going to get a corner route by T. Higgins. He doesn't win by much. This safety gets just a little bit flat-footed. 
Browning puts it in the perfect spot. I mean, that is a big-time NFL throw, and you've, when you've got a great receiver like a T. Higgins, you're able to just put that in a spot for him to go get it, but big props. He was able to recognize it and put that ball exactly where it needed to be. All right, so the Bengals are going to hit the Vikings again on that pretty well the same concept of the pigtail and the dig. Uh, just this time, it's out of a stack formation. But as you can see, Vikings are going to bring five-man pressure with cover two behind it, a variation of it. But this out, this inside backer bumps all the way to the outside. And, man, the middle of the field is just left wide open. Jake's able to recognize that and find the attacking spot. And just this is an easy pitch and catch to, once again, T. Higgins, who had a huge day for Jake Browning. Five-man protection, offense line's able to recognize it, block it up extremely well, and they are not able to move Jake off his throwing point at all. Okay, so on this one, there's a lot to unpack. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Running back's going to step up and going to give them a six-man protection. You get trips to the field, single receiver into the boundary, and Vikings right now are showing a bullet's pressure, which is double A-gap. But both backers are going to back out of this thing, and they're going to get into their zone. And you're going to see three vertical routes at the top of the screen with a drag underneath it, and Browning could have easily just taken the drag. Let's show it right here. They back out. That safety backed all the way with it. And I mean, right here, you know, your downfield concepts are pretty cloudy and you've got a guy wide open at the 40. You can get a nice little easy chunk play, but Jake is sitting in there and, he's, and he anticipates the window and he throws this breaking dig route on the outside and just finds his man. I believe that is Jamar Chase. Like, this is a really good throw by this NFL quarterback and Jake Browning. A, a traditional backup probably just would, to, would have taken what the defense would have gave him with the little underneath route. No, he waits. He sits in there and just drills a great anticipatory throw to the dig. All right, on this next one, it's very impressive by Jake because Minnesota Vikings are showing a lot of different things. They're showing one high, but at the post-snap, they're going to back out to more of a three-high look. kind of looks to me like cover six, but they're going to bring some creeper pressure where defensive linemen are going to back out into the zone. They're going to get free edge pressure right there, but Jake Browning still does a great job of standing in that pocket and delivering it at the last second. This is an incredible throw right here. We're going to freeze it. Right here, uh, Harrison Smith is coming off the edge, and he's about to jack uh, Jake Browning up, but Jake it recognizes that he's going to have his tight end leaking into the middle of the field pretty easy, and he's going to stand in there. He doesn't get off his throwing point and delivers a great ball, takes a shot for it, but it's another big first down, and it really just leaves the Vikings feeling very defeated. All right, and then on this one, as you can see, heavy pressure. They just sent a, a receiver into orbit motion where you had a guy chase instantly with that safety walk down. Also, Jake knows that it's man coverage, but he's going to be able to recognize post-snap that they tried to bump their man, and they never got that communication out. He's able to just take what the defense gives them. Clearly miscommunication by the defense, and he gets it out to his back early and often. That way he can get down the field. So you can see number 24 safety, he's going to get head over top of the tight end. So that's man coverage. They never got it communicated to bump their man coverage, and it's a first down. Another example right here of a tight window throw while getting pressure right to the face. And he still, once again, hits another dig route. I believe this one's to T. Higgins. It was an incredible catch by T. Higgins, but watch it from the end zone copy. I mean, Vikings definitely wanted to send a lot of pressure off of zone coverage. Stands in there, gets hit. While, yes, this ball is a little bit behind, and there are four defenders right there. It's an incredible catch by T. Higgins. But just for Browning to be able to stand in there and put this ball where it needed to have been, yeah, I mean, they, they've got something really working well with the offense coordinator and Jake Browning. You can tell Jake's got a lot of confidence. 
Now, we are going to end the, with this one, and this probably was the most reckless throw Jake Browning had other than the interception that he threw earlier in the game, but this is just too unbelievable of a play by T. Higgins not to show it. They get a trip sponge to the right, kind of closed off to the left. Browning gets pressure. He just throws this one up off his back foot. Guarantee you he wishes that he had it back, but when you're throwing it to one of your dudes, you always have an opportunity, and we'll be able to show it from the end zone copy, but T. Higgins goes up and absolutely catches this thing on the one-yard line and then it just reaches out right there he turned his body around and reached that ball across the goal line made a incredible individual play Bengals get a big win at home over the Vikings keep their playoffs hopes alive and it's got a lot to say about the maturation of Jake Browning in this offense hey they've got weapons it's just up to now Jake Browning to be able to steer the ship and facilitate that ball and he's doing a damn good job with it right now let me know what you guys think about it in the comments section below as always like and subscribe stay humble stay kind peace